gallery is called Cadogo Art House. This building um, was built in the 1880s uh, to store dangerous goods like the kerosene for the city of Fremantle. It's had a very interesting history and I took over the building 10 years ago and set it up as a multidisciplinary independent art centre. There's a lot of things that we do here where we actually support events that happen locally. Local artists can actually hire the gallery and put on their own exhibition. It could be drawing, painting, sculpture, mixed media, jewellery, glass, anything at all. We also have exhibitions that we put on of our own students' work and also perhaps international artists that I might bring in and put the whole exhibition on. It's easy for somebody who's just starting out to have an exhibition here. It's not expensive in comparison to perhaps going with another gallery. We don't take commission. We hire the gallery space to the artists. They've got a lot of choice in what they can actually do with the exhibition. We also have musicians come and put on house concerts. We have poetry nights. We have book launches. We have a lot of community projects where Community organisations can actually book Kodogo to put on an event and we run a lot of um, programmes for children as well to get them interested in the arts. There's a warmth and friendliness in the building that's something that people pick up immediately when they come to Kodogo and so the children feel comfortable they feel at home their opinions are respected when they come here we show them lots of techniques so we want them to actually produce better artwork than they've done before and to think more like artists we have professional artists work with them and teach them and pass on their expertise hopefully those children will carry on with us they will perhaps go on and become artists studying with us but even if they don't I think that there will be people who look back on the experience of coming to Cadogo as a fond experience and, and become art patrons and collectors of art. In 2010, we will be offering a whole series of scholarships for gifted and talented Australian emerging artists. They may have already gone and done some studies elsewhere, but people who want to specialise in becoming painters to come here and do a one-year course where we'll have it fully funded for them to learn from Perth best artists. We will invite visiting artists who are coming to have exhibitions in Western Australia to come and meet with the students and to pass in their expertise. Now we're specialising very much in working with people who want to become artists and focusing on drawing, painting and the skills of fine art. I see this place as being a place where people who want to become painters will want to spend their time. It's a meeting place of creative people. I like the fact that musicians, writers, artists, poets and young people meet to discuss their ideas and to develop their professional practice. So I think it's a very, um, it serves a very important role in the community.